What is up, gaming friends? It's John Blanco from the Dads After Dark Show, member of the Nintendo Dads family of podcasts. We've got a fresh first look for you. This is a game called Frogue, as my buddy Hoots will say. Frogue, that's frog rogue combined. What do they call that when they combine the words? They take the two words and they combine them together. There's a term for that. I should know what it is. I did go to school. I graduated. Frogue. This is from QUBYTE Interactive. This game's coming out on June 27th. It's only $4.99, but it looks interesting. So let's check it out together. You know, this is a platforming bullet hell roguelike. Who doesn't like that genre? Now, I'm a big fan of the roguelike genre. Not a huge fan of bullet hell, but they can be fun. Platforming, love it. That's a mainstay. Super Mario Bros. Rogue. Frog. <laughs> All right, let's jump right into it. Omnidirectional. That means any direction, everybody. Any direction. Ooh, are those bats? Yeah. Press the button A to skip intro. Okay, we'll, we'll see what the intro has for us. No experience of the cursed castle. The Castlevania. Stories of terror and death brought by the fortress were told in the past as folk tales, legends. Now are a reality. Now are a reality that plagues the world. My name is Keen Legstrong. I'm part of the Green Knight Order of the Hanuro clan. It is our duty to seal it away upon its research. Ah, there shouldn't be an apostrophe there. We got two typos already in the intro. Even if it costs our life to do it. Costs. It should be costs our life. Cost our lives. Even if it costs. Costs our life. All right. Leg strong. I'm a frog. Whoa. Okay, so I'm using the analog stick. Jump on targets with your sword to deal damage. So, A jumps. Okay. We come back down here. Um, we're gonna up here. Ooh, how do I get there? Ugh. All right, let's try this way. This way. How do I get up there? Let's try this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. Chica. All right, that was like my movement. If I go in the middle, oh, I see, it's just kind of rounding. So if I jump there, and then jump there, and then jump there, and then jump here. Jump on targets with your sword. So there's a lot. If you hear three boys bouncing on a trampoline, it's because it's near my window. My son's got a little sleepover going on. Okay. Oh, throw your sword. I didn't see it. it was telling me to do something else. Why? Oh. Why? Huh. Throw your sword on the target to destroy it. All right. I'll get there. I am kind of throwing my sword, it stays in the air, and then I jump near it. I'm not sure if I'm understanding that. Okay, go through. Creating map, all right. So that was a tutorial, and now we're going into the roguelike section. All right, this area looks easier. Castle basement. All right, we get a little Tetris piece map going up on top there. So what is my overall goal here? Why can't I jump ahead? Is it just a distance thing? Yeah, I guess so. What am I trying to accomplish here? Um, what is it you want me to do? What am 
am I doing? Okay, X brings up the map. Um... Why is it saying A? Oh, I just tap A instead. Oh, so okay, A is jump, but just pressing A without aiming will go through. So we went up. I'm gonna get a little music going now. Okay, so instead of targets, jumping on enemies now. But yeah. But yeah. How would I know which way to go? A. I mean, so we're following position on the map. I'm not sure if I know why I would go in a certain direction. Like, I'm not, I'm not being offered like a series of choices. Is that a bomb? Is that a bomb bird? Bane bird? X3 combo. All right. Well, let's just continue going straight. Bing, 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 bing. How'd everybody like the Nintendo Direct? Oh, wait. This isn't a live show. I really like Zelda. Uh, Mario and Luigi. Darkest Dungeon. Very good sort of campaign-based roguelike. Speaking of roguelikes, if you're looking for a good roguelike, I have a feeling Darkest Dungeon is going to be awesome. Darkest Dungeon 2. I did play the first one. I liked it, even though it was really hard and I couldn't beat it. So we could go back the way we came. What about that Ace Attorney package? Oh, it's locked. It's locked with a little... I mean, is it like, does it need a key? I don't know what it wants from me. So I think I gotta go back. Moving is a little bit of a pain. I'm getting a little bit more used to it though. Okay, you don't have to clear the level again. Like you can only jump short distances, not like long ones across the screen. And it's sort of, it's sort of like rounding you so that you don't like miss a platform, which I think is a good thing. But it, it like when you, when you aim and you're a little bit off, sometimes it's rounding to like maybe not the intuitive place. Definitely got to get used to it. So like I, I land and I immediately want to jump somewhere, but like the, the place that it's directing me isn't quite what I wanted it to be. So I feel like I'm sort of mashing until the thing auto aims. If that makes sense. It would be very hard for you to tell because you can't see my controller. But I am getting obviously used to the, uh, getting uh, very used to this um, control scheme. Sorry, I yelled there. I was honestly trying to speak loudly so I could make sure that I wasn't on mute. <laughs> what else from the from the direct? Ace Attorney, uh, Miles investigation stuff. Very cool. I was uh, very into that. I'm a big fan of the Ace Attorney series. Surprisingly hectic and exciting for a game about court. <laughs> detective work. I find it more exciting than a lot of action games, honestly. But I still gotta finish Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Alright. So this room below has a blue. I don't know what that means. We're gonna find out. Ooh, okay. Does it look like a weapon? I... Okay, so I have no idea what any of those three things are. Retribution deals damage on a small circular area when damaged. When what's damaged? When I'm damaged? Free throw. You can now throw your sword with a no turn cost. I didn't know I was using turns. Oh, that's right. I think um, I had heard that if you don't move, nothing happens. It's only when you move do things happen. Reveals all boss chambers and all biomes. Right, let's just do that. Warping unlocked. You can now teleport to already visited rooms. 
by opening your map that I already visited should be hyphenated. I'm just here with all the English help that I can. So let's look at the map. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means, but that does look like a like a boss thing to the right. But I thought we saw it up at the top too. So Alright, we'll just try to get there, I guess. Okay. Go this way. I wish I wish as soon as I landed I could just boom hit A again, you know? I just wanna like I wanna go boom 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 boom. I, I don't wanna go like sort of boom boom boom. I wanna go a little bit more frantically. Kind of reminds me of like Metroidvania games, right? The ones that are the best are the ones where you can really like move around quickly, especially as you get more powerful. I wanna like just fly through things. I wanna I wanna go through the screen like boom 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 like quickly. But I feel like I'm forced to sort of go one step at a time, step, 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 step. So if I don't move, see nothing happens. So I can think about it. Oh! Does it see like it fired? And then I was able to get away. See that? It's right in the middle there. If I go wham! So yeah, if you do. Wait a second. What is that? I got a blue thing. Oh, there's a meter over there on the side. Two out of eight. Did I um, pick up one of those blue spheres? I'm not sure if I've ever noticed it before. Okay, so we're near the boss screen. Oh! I didn't even realize it was low on health. What? So this must be like some kind of hub world. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna create another map. Well, I need to take a shot at like a boss here. Ugh, castle basement. All right. Oh, my health is over there. Eight out of eight, that was health, okay. Well, I didn't know. Um, does it go down? It shouldn't be the same map. It should be a different map. It's not gonna help me, but. Okay, let's try to go fast. Try to look for the blue. Oh, there was a blue thing right there, wasn't there? Wait, let me go back. No, I can't go back until I get past this level. Alright, I did take some damage there. Okay, here's a blue screen, so this is... Okay, so it is a selection. I'm not sure what the U means, but... Oh, upgrade, okay. Reveals all upgrade rooms in all biomes. Deals damage on a small circular area when damaged. Increases the momentum of your sword for one turn when thrown. All right, this just seems to be the most valuable. And I can go right. Young kids have a lot of energy, they really do. They did the trampoline. Then we had chicken wings. And then they went bike riding. Like right after the chicken wing. And now they're on the trampoline again. But they're good friends. Okay. I got that blue thing. Yeah. Movement really is sort of stodgy. Uh, so you have to go all the way left and it's like, it's like room's not even, it's just empty. Just want to go. Let's freaking go. 
Let's go! What is it? Andre, Andre. Alright. Okay, we're going to a new room. I mean, it's hard to really make out what's happening. The graphics are so, um, big. <laughs> I don't know the, any other word to describe it. It's almost like Atari graphics. They're like, almost like, I can't, I can't really make out what's happening. Just need to play and like figure it out. It does look like those, like those birds right there are like bombs. But at least if I don't move, I can think about my zit and see the bullets all freeze. So like going fast won't really help you. It just won't matter. Okay, there's that blue thing again. I guess I got it. Oh, I just pressed, okay, I pressed the B button. I should have waited until like there was like an enemy. Is that a shield, you think? I feel like I'm doing well, but I'm clearly I'm I'm losing doing that thing in roguelikes where I'm losing too much oh God, I'm losing too much health. So it's like and clearly I'm going through a bomb. Maybe maybe I'm supposed to avoid those bombs. So there's two left. blue thing. I'm down to three health. I think this is the boss up here, but it's locked. But I can go left? No. All right, we'll go this way. We'll go down. And like, so like, I have to go down. Movement is whatever. It's almost like it. Almost makes you sore. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Go. That way. That way. That way. That way. Yo. Yo. All right, this is where we were before. Now we want to go left. If you haven't noticed the map on the left, the right side, that's what I'm using. Okay. I wish I could get some health. I got to try that other. Let's try this bubble thing. Oh, I don't have enough. See, I took a hit going. Did I? He looks like he's gonna blow up. I think I've lost energy doing, going after him. Gotta be really careful. I'm just trying to be. Can I get him? All right. The only place to go is down, and I'm looking for a key. Oh, look! See now that now that like now it's showing the boss icon on the left there. I really don't know what's up. I just want to live long enough to at least see the boss. Show everybody how good of a gamer I am. No! Okay. Activates the chronosphere, freezing all enemies and bullets for a few turns. Okay. There you go. I don't know. I used that before, but it seems to be tutorialized now. So for four turns, the enemy will be frozen. Uh, he's... Look like he's ready to explode. Okay, he's gonna shoot a bullet. All right, so if I go left, there should be a boss. That's the theory. Okay, looks like a boss. 
Whoa. A lot of bullets. Big bada boom. I might have to, like, really get into throwing the sword. Okay. So, like, you kind of, like, throw the sword and then kind of jump somewhat near it. Oh! Oh, shoot. Where do I go? Back here. Oh, gosh. It still hit me. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, there's the chronosphere. <gasps> I'm gonna die. I didn't really get to use my chronosphere because I was gonna run into bullets. I only have one health left. What, what, what's the what's the gambling money that um? Oh, I figured if I jumped that way, the bullet would advance, but my action comes first. No, what can you do? Well, you get a sense of it. I don't know what happens after you beat the first boss. If uh, if you eventually die, you have to start from the beginning again. I could really go either way. Let's see if there's some settings. You know, just some basic stuff. Eh, I want to try to see if I can get past the first boss. I'm curious. Maybe they'll open another portal and save your progress or something. But um kind of a kind of an interesting game, Frog. I would say um, I like the concept. I like the you know, the fact that it is sort of turn-based, even though it may not feel like it. Um, you do have to be a little bit more calculating with your moves. Uh, the movement can be a little bit slow, especially going through some rooms that are already empty. Um, and you, yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but only like a couple minutes, right? It didn't, it didn't take me long to get used to the movement. Probably have to play a few runs of failure before you get a good idea of what you're trying to do. I don't know what that one room is that I couldn't get into all the time and then had to go to the boss. Or why the boss always seems to be the last room I ever found. Um, but, um, but yeah, a neat little game for $4.99. Um, yeah, this one could have some legs. I think so. I uh, just got to learn how to play it a little bit better, but... Once again, this is Frog. It's $4.99 from QUbyte Interactive. And it releases June 27th. I've been John Blanco from the Dads After Dark show. Proud family member of the Nintendo Dads. Kind of like a nephew. I'm not sure how you would dis describe it. Maybe I'm an uncle? I don't know. I'm the same age as... No, I'm, I'm younger than Tim. But that make him like an older brother. I don't know what we are. But anyway, thanks for watching. Good night, Dads!